when a scientist turned composer? How would his ultrasonic harmonies affect the world? Tonight, Tales of Tomorrow presents The Horn, starring Francho Tone. You know, you can learn a lot among the fishes, and this tank test proves it. Now, we left this waterproof watch in the water 36 hours. Now, as you'd expect, it's still ticking merrily away. But you know, Chrysler wants to know what good's a watch that's waterproof when your watch band isn't. Well, here's your answer. After 36 hours or 36 days, this Chrysler Crescent watch band still looks new and keeps all its flexibility too. Rain, water, or perspiration won't stain or rust it. Now, I want you to see the style Chrysler has created for this exclusive watch band that's a must for your waterproof watch. In fact, whether your watch is waterproof or not, if it's the popular round style, then you must see the new Chrysler watch band that's specially designed for round watches. Look how perfectly the curved links blend with the shape of the watch. Notice how the rounded ends match the curve of a round watch on both sides. And note especially how the curved design of the end pieces eliminates any ugly gap at this point. Makes the watch and the band look custom made for each other. See how every link of the crescent follows the curve of the watch and becomes a part of the watch, making it one smart, continuous piece of jewelry. It's the greatest new idea in men's watch bands in years. It's the new crescent watch band by Chrysler. And practical? This Chrysler band expands to bring you new convenience and comfort. You can thank Chrysler's super-calibrated seven-coil springs. And Crescent, by Chrysler, costs only $7.50 in stainless steel or only $10.95 with gold-filled top, federal tax included. So if you own a round watch, go to your jeweler tomorrow and buy Crescent, the first and only watch band in the world that's exactly right for the round watch. Make your watch look better than new and dress up your appearance, too with Chrysler. You hear that? I know you didn't because this happens to be a little dog whistle that creates a sound so extremely high that the human ear is incapable of hearing it. In other words, it creates sound waves beyond the upper register of audibility. In other words, supersonic sound waves. Scientists conducting experiments in the supersonic field have discovered amazing reactions on the part of human beings to inaudible sound waves. Let's watch tonight's Tale of Tomorrow as we unfold the story of Arthur Martinson's strange musical instrument, which proved to be the most eloquent ever designed. I don't get it, Jake. For months now, you've been hounding me to fire the man. And still, I haven't heard one good reason why. Now, you're shop foreman, and I shouldn't interfere. But in this case, just what is it you've got against Martinson? I haven't got anything against him. Now, look, Max. The man shows up here. He's hungry. He's broke. He's out of a job. Where does he come from? Who is he? You don't know. All you do know is he's designing some screwy new musical instrument. And he wants to use your workshop to finish it. Well, that was almost six months ago. Do you realize he's still in there tinkering? The physics prof at the university speaks very highly of him. Oh, you're soft, Max. Our business is to manufacture musical instruments. Not to run a workshop for any crackpot who comes in here who has a bright idea. Here are the invoices, Father. Look, it's after five. Why don't we go home now? Just a moment, Evelyn. I wonder if you'll ask Martinson to step in here a second, please. All right. Now, all this business between you and Martinson, it's not over Evelyn, is it? 
If I didn't know that you and Evelyn were going to be married next month, I'd say you were jealous of the man. Of course, if uh, Martinson is interfering with the production schedule, that's a different matter. But I understood that he was doing his experimental work after shop hours. Mr. Heinkel? Sit down, Martinson. How, uh, how is your experimental work coming along? Oh, very well, Mr. Heinkel. I'm a bit concerned over this whole business. Mr. Lippitt insists that the entire shop routine is being disrupted. Now, frankly, Martinson, I'm getting fed up with this constant bickering. Well, you've been more than generous with it, Mr. Heinkel. When I was broke, you gave me a job making violins. You gave me the full use of the shop after hours for my experiment. But you must allow me to finish it. It's so very close now. I think we're entitled to know two things. First, how much longer? Second, just what is it you're working on? I'll need another two months. He's told us that six months ago, Max. But this instrument, just what is it? I'm... I'm sorry, Mr. Heinkel. Well, I, I'm sure you can give us some idea. Well, it concerns a new principle in the transmission of high-frequency sound waves. A principle I ran down myself over five years ago. I'm afraid that's all I can say just now. But I can promise you, gentlemen, it will be the most eloquent musical instrument the world has ever known. And that's all you can tell us about it. It's eloquent. I can also say this. Properly used, it will do more to heal the world's wounds than any corps of diplomats. And improperly used, it will be more destructive than an H-bomb. Well, that's a tall order, Martinson. A very tall order. Of course, if it's only a matter of a couple now, months... Now, Max, you're not going to let him talk you into it again. Yesterday, two more of Martinson's violins were returned as defective. That's not true, Jake. You know that. Now, you keep out of this, Evelyn. I won't keep out of this. You've been hounding Mr. Martinson now for the last six months. I'm not going to let you get away with it any longer. Now, let's get one thing straight right now. If you're going to marry me, you don't tell me what I can do and what I can't do. Is that very clear? Yes, it is. And something else is also very clear. I'm not going to marry you. Now, will you handle this any way you like, Max? I'm through worrying about it. Well, Father, you haven't given Mr. Martinson your answer. Can he stay? You can have your two months, Martinson. I'm very grateful to you, Mr. Heinkel. Someday, the whole world may be grateful. Thank you. Thanks very much. Not at all. Oh, please don't go. It was very good of you to take my side just now. I'm sorry if I caused a quarrel between you, Miss, Mr. Lippitt. Oh, that's all right. I've been trying to break things off with him for quite a while. I never had the courage till just now. I still can't see what he has against me. He's jealous. Jealous of your work, jealous because Father likes you. Jealous because he thinks I may like you. You know, sometimes I feel sorry for him. I don't. I'm afraid of him. Jake one, once wanted to be a concert pianist. He, he never quite made it. Since then, he's been bitter and arrogant. They tell me. Don't you ever take time out from working on this? Night after night, I find you here. Well, I'm used to it. For five years now, I've devoted every spare moment to it, almost every waking thought. What did you mean when you said the instrument would be eloquent? I meant that it will really enable people to communicate with one another. Well, don't they now? Oh, after a fashion. 
But haven't you ever felt the terrible inadequacy of words? Even with someone you know very well. You say one thing, they think you mean another. You can talk for hours and still find yourself misunderstood. Yes. That's the way it was with Jake and me. Talking to him was like talking to a brick wall. Someday soon there may be no more brick walls between people. No more stupid quarrels and conflict. Only complete understanding and goodwill. It does sound like a tall order. I hope I'm in on it. You'll be the first to witness it. That's a promise. Mr. Hunt, I said two months. It's two months to the day. And I finished it. Well, let's hear what it sounds like. All right. Here goes. I don't hear anything. Wait. Just wait. Now, what do you feel? Why, that's funny. All of a sudden, I... I feel excited. Exhilarated. And I don't know why. A moment ago, I was dog-tired. Play him another. Play him this. Quickly, play! Stop it! Stop it! Put that horn down! Stop it! It communicates emotion. Emotion? What kind of emotion? Any kind. Whatever emotion the player is feeling at the moment, it transmits it unchanged. To the listener. Well, can anyone play it? Anyone. Anyone who feels emotion. But, but how does it work? You know, of course, that when a person experiences emotion, certain physical reactions occur along with it. When you're frightened, you tremble. When you're embarrassed, you blush. Yes. The horn is sensitized to these physical reactions and transmits an identical set to the listener. But how? When you played it just now, I... I felt something, I'll admit, but I didn't hear anything. Well, that's because the horn transmits ultrasonic vibrations. Ultrasonic vibrations? High-frequency sound waves, so high that the human ear can't hear them. Is that what I've been reading about lately? Inaudible sound waves, powerful enough to kill a small animal or to penetrate 25 feet of solid steel? Yes, that's right. They can do many strange and wonderful things. The horn picks up these ultrasonic vibrations and transmits them not to the sense of hearing, but directly to the nervous system. And it's this sound pattern that induces a particular emotional response in the listener, whether he likes it or not. Yes, correct. I still can't believe it. Evelyn, get Lippitt in here. If it'll work on him, it'll work on anyone. I think he's still in the shop. Soon people literally may be able to talk with their emotions. What's this device here? That's the direction finder. By focusing this here, like this, you can concentrate the sound waves on one particular area, therefore one, on one particular person. Or by opening it up, like this, you can widen the focus to influence a whole crowd of people. Does Lippitt know how this works yet? No. no. No one but you and Evelyn. When he gets in here, I want you to focus this instrument directly on him. I want to watch his reaction with my own eyes. Yes, but what emotion shall I communicate to him? I have to feel it myself. Here it is. I've always had a morbid fear of heights. This is six flights down. Let's see if I can make Lippitt know exactly what it feels like. Make sure he doesn't see you. He'll be in here any second now. Kate, I thought you'd never get here. Come right over here. I've got something to show you that you'll be very much interested in. Something special. What is it? Just give me your close attention for a second, and you'll see. Wait a minute. I feel kind of dizzy all of a sudden. Someone hold me. I'm falling. I hold me.
this gadget isn't from the world of tomorrow. Any housewife of today knows that this is a, a whipped cream dispenser. Now, all you know, ladies know how important a dessert can be to a successful dinner. Let's look at two desserts. Here's one, simple and tasty. Here's another, the same dessert, but a few quick touches transform it into a triumph for the hostess who certainly got the most for her money. And ladies, what's true in food fashions is just as true in jewelry fashions. Take this watch, for example. This old cord doesn't do a thing for the watch. Now look, the same watch, but what a difference. The fantasy watch band by Chrysler magically transforms it into a lovely bracelet watch, a style that cost $50 or more. Buy fantasy. Fantasy costs you only $9.95, and that's how to get the most for your money. Here, take a close look at the sensational new watch band. It's the new slim fantasy band that fits even a very small watch and makes it high fashion and a true bracelet watch. Ask for it by name. It's Golden Fantasy by Chrysler. You can have Golden Fantasy in a variety of styles, jewel set or tailored to suit your taste. And whatever model you pick, see how perfectly it suits your watch. See how perfectly this new design at the end blends with the smallest watch. Another big advantage, these bands expand so when you're doing housework, you can slip Fantasy up out of the way. And remember, Golden Fantasy costs less than many ordinary bands. Only $9.95, federal tax included. So go to your jeweler. Make your old watch look smarter than new with a fantasy watch bracelet by Chrysler. And now back to our story, The Horn, starring Francho Tone. You know, Arthur, this has been the happiest, most amazing month in my life. I'm very happy, too. <laughs> First our engagement, then your wonderful success, and now tonight, the banquet. Oh, yes, the banquet. How is your speech coming along? Oh, terrible. I'm scared to death. Do you realize some of the top-ranking scientists in the country will be there? You know, darling, what you're doing tonight, turning the horn over to the Committee of Scientists, that makes me prouder of you than anything else. Well, what else could I do? You could have kept it for yourself and become a very wealthy and powerful man. Oh, it's much too big for any one man. It's even too big for anyone's science. That's why I decided that a representative of each branch should have a voice in his future. How do you suppose they'll use it? Well, by physicists, by research into the nature of sound, by doctors for the diagnosis and treatment of emotional disorders, by military men to control the morale of thousands of troops. There are so many uses, it makes me dizzy to think. Of Wait a minute. Say some of this for the speech. <laughs> oh, the devil with the speech. I'm just going to get up and say, Gentlemen of science, I give this freely with but one stipulation, that it be used for the benefit of all mankind. Bravo! Bravo! <laughs> Already? I've got the car downstairs. Let's go. Well, wait a minute. I, I'm forgetting the most important thing. Well, hurry up. I'm parked near a fire hydrant. Oh, Parkinson. Uh, night's the big night, huh? How did you get into my locker? Now, wait a minute. Before you go into this thing of being noble tonight, I'd like to say a few words. All right, say them. Give me the horn. Martins, we've had our differences. But let's forget them for the moment. The fact remains, you've got quite a contraption here. After tonight, it won't belong to no, I was just coming to that. And now, wait a minute, Martins. You know, I've been doing a great deal of thinking lately. Has it ever occurred to you what two enterprising citizens like you and me, for instance, what we could do with something like this? Give me the horn, Linda. You could have anything you want. Anything I tell you. Money and power. You're out of your mind. You could have a whole people following you around like sheep if you want. Now listen, Lieutenant. I'm in a hurry. They're waiting for you. You want to turn this over to a bunch of moth eating old men? No, don't be a fool now. I won't let you do it.
you think you're going with that? You fools don't know how to put this to its best use, I do. Where is Austin? Put that horn down, Jake. You don't have the guts to kill a rabbit, Hankel. I know you. But even if you did, you wouldn't now because this would smash like a ripe cantaloupe right on that pavement. What are you going to do? I'm going to crawl down that fire escape and be on my way. And you're not going to do a thing about it. Because if you shoot, I'd drop it. And you wouldn't want that to happen. Put that down. I swear I'll shoot before I'll let you get away with this. Go ahead. Go ahead, Max. What are you waiting for? You've gone completely mad, Jake. Yeah, possibly, Max. Possibly. But we'll talk about it someday when I'm sitting pretty. Look down there. Thousands of people all waiting to be led. And believe me, I'm going to lead them. Whether it's one man or an army of men. With this, I can do anything I want. Anything. Are you all right, Arthur? He's got the horn and I can't stop it. Let's get off. One slip and you'll fall. You kill yourself. It's six flights down. Keep back, Marcus, and keep back. Be careful, he'll drop. Keep him away from me, I warn you. One step. One step more and I drop it. Stand back, Arthur. We'll get the horn back somehow. You change your mind. Now listen to me. I'm going down this fire escape and leave the currents and I smash it. Look, you can't. You can't destroy everything I've worked for for five years. Come in, Austin, Jake, please. That horse isn't used to you without me. It only takes one man to handle it and I can do that. Lippert, wait. What you were talking about in the shop, I'm ready to listen now. How come? All of a sudden. It's not all of a sudden, Lippert. That horn is everything to me. Let's make a deal. I'll do anything you say. Arthur! Martin! You're right. Go ahead. Go out, spread your selfishness and hatred. It won't be for long. You think the horn will give you everything you want? It could also destroy you. I'll show you if I know how to use this horn or not. I'll give you a practical demonstration. A demonstration of things to come. Martinson's your enemy. Listen to me, Heinkel. Listen to me. He hates you. He hates you. Think, Mr. Heinkel. Think. Don't give in to him. He's out of his mind. Shoot him. Shoot him, I tell you. No, Father. No. Don't. You've got a gun in your hand. Kill him! Try to hear me. It's Martins. He's making a murderer out of you. No, 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 I... Not, no, not me! Not me! No, no. What happened? I tried to grab it. I've got to get down there right away. Oh, Arthur. And the horn destroyed, too. It's just as well. Why did... Why did Father suddenly turn on Jake instead of you? Was the horn defective after all? Defective? No. Lippert just forgot. That the horn could communicate emotion, but not control the result. He could make your father want to kill. But he couldn't direct him who to kill. Thank heaven for that. And Arthur, you can make another horn. It'll be easier and quicker this time. No, I'm afraid not. It was ahead of its time. Someday, maybe. Someday, when people are ready for it. <laughs> When you look for something different in watch bands, look for Chrysler. For example, this one with your own initials. Or when you're looking for a fine band at a thrifty price as low as $4.95, you'll find many like this in the big selection of Chrysler watch bands. Yes, whether you're looking for a man's band or a lady's style, there's a Chrysler watch band to suit every watch, every taste, and every purse. At Jewelers Everywhere, 
Chrysler watch bands give you the finest selection, the finest value. So remember always, when you look for quality, look for Chrysler. How did the secret plans for a death ray get published? What happened to the missing parts? Next week, Tales of Tomorrow presents Double Trouble, starring Paul Tripp and Ruth Enders. And now a word from Alan Edwards. Tales of Tomorrow will be brought to you next week by C.H. Maslin and Sons, makers of Maslin Beauty Blend Broadlooms and authentic hunting and fishing clothes. Now, one of Maslin's loveliest all-wool broadlooms is Cantata, this elegant Wilton right here. Cantata high and low loop pile gives it a delicate tone-on-tone -tone sculptured pattern that blends perfectly with any room. Available in lovely colors at approximately 1150 a square yard. This means that a carpet for an average room 12 by 15 would be only about $230. Visit your favorite store and see Cantata Wilton, another beauty blend broadloom by C.H. Masland. Your host next week on Tales of Tomorrow. Mm -hmm.